Hi guys, it's Beth from Mama Life London and today's video is giving you some tips and places to go with children in London. So, the first place that um, my children particularly love to go to and that is because my son for a long time has been dinosaur mad and my daughter likes them as well is the Natural History Museum. The Natural History Museum is a stunning building and if you haven't been there before it's just worth looking at the building on its own. Inside it's just beautiful. There is a massive dinosaur section which my children love but there's also a section on animals and a section on the human body. You can spend a good time there and the best thing about it is that it's completely free. They just suggest a donation. We go there pretty much every time we go into London because we don't seem to be able to escape it. It is looking a little bit tired because it's, I've been there since I went there first when I was probably about five and lots of things haven't changed but the dinosaur section is still spectacular and if you have kids that like dinosaurs I would definitely recommend it. The next place I would go to which is just along the road is the Science Museum. Um, if your children like space then they would love the Science Museum and um, transport, there's brilliant sections on that. Um, I think it's about five floors, it's huge. Um, more recently they've opened up the Wonder Lab on the top floor, which um, you do have to pay to go in. The Science Museum you don't have to pay to go in, again it's a suggested donation, but on the Wonder Lab on the top floor, um, that has been named by London Time Out magazine as the best thing to do with kids in London at the moment. Um, and there's so many different interactive things that you can do in there. My third suggestion for things to do in London if you're visiting particularly in the summer or on a warm day in the spring and autumn is to go along the embankment which is the route along the River Thames probably from Tower Bridge all the way to Westminster um, by the London Eye because it is such a brilliant walk. There are so many sites to take in. You'll see St Paul's Cathedral, um, you'll see Big Ben, you'll see the Tower of London. It's a brilliant walk and my children are swell. In the summer when we did it they were six and three and there were no complaints from them about walking because there's just so many things to keep them occupied along the way. You also go past Shakespeare's Globe um, and in the summer in particular along the embankment there are so many um, fun things for the kids. There's sand pits, um, in the summer there was the Underbelly Festival with Children's Theatre. So it's just a great walk and like I said, my son didn't complain. And that is unheard of for him to not moan about having tired legs when walking. So I definitely recommend that and again it's free. The other things I've done in London recently, I'm not entirely sure I'd recommend it for younger children but if you have older children who are particularly interested in history then the Tower of London is quite a good visit but I would suggest you do it on a day when the weather is nice and it's not raining. Uh, there's a lot of bits that are outside. It's raining in London today. Yeah, I'm trying to get the job bus. But for some people, it's still summer, hey? <laughs> with your ice creams. My son likes horrible histories. He was quite intrigued in finding out why people were tortured in the Bloody Tower. Um, unfortunately, on the day we went, it was pouring down with rain and uh, the queue to the tower was enormous as was the clue to the t crown jewels. So, like I said, do it on a day when it's not raining and the weather's nice, particularly in the summer. It's quite expensive for a family, it costs us £72. So it isn't cheap, but if they enjoy history, my son was very intrigued by Henry VIII's armour, particularly because he had an enormous metal cod piece. And I'm talking enormous. Now please comment and let me know if you've been on a nice day, if it was a good day out with the children. If your kids love Lego, um, both of mine do, and the Lego shop in Leicester Square, I wouldn't recommend going to Leicester Square any other time because it is a bit crazy, a lot of fast food shops, um, but Chinatown's around the corner so that's quite interesting for the children, um, but the Lego shop is brilliant. It's huge and there's so much for the children to do in there. They have some pods where they can build Lego. Um, we spent an hour and a half there just building and if you're not going to go and pay to visit a museum or pay to visit a site then I see no harm in going to the Lego shop, spend an hour and a half there and getting them a little something and they can build their own little Lego men or women um, in these different stations as well that you can put into a pack and buy. So 
we have really good fun there actually and the kids love it and particularly on a wet day as it was when we went on Saturday um, it's a good place to pass the time. Other things to do in London there's obviously lots and lots of parks in London um, which are definitely worth a visit. We've been to Buckingham Palace with the kids we've gone past in taxis and we've gone past on the bus and we've walked past there and gone on along to all the parks and they've quite enjoyed just being able to see where the Queen lives, have a mooch on in the park and have a bit of a play. My tips for you for being in London, there is number one, there is a great app called City Mapper and it's better than Google Maps. So um, you can easily plan out your journey where you want to go to um, and it will pick different options for you, either walk, bus, train ride and Obviously Google Maps does that, but this does excellent detail. So I really recommend downloading that on your phone. You don't have to use it in London, you can use it in cities around the world. But it's particularly useful obviously when you're in London. Um, my second recommendation, do not go on the tube with your children at peak times. So around the nine o'clock time and from around five o'clock till about half six you will be absolutely crammed on there. There's a huge rush to go on the tube. I'm sure if you've been to London before, you're aware of this. If you haven't, don't be surprised if your nose is up like this against the doors, because that is what it gets like at peak traveling times in London. Third tip is there is a lot of walking in London. You can't, obviously you still get the tubes, but in between there is so much walking to do. And I would really recommend that you wear comfortable shoes, even trainers. Don't worry about wearing heels or looking too smart. Just go for comfort when you're going from place to place with the kids. My fourth tip is don't try to do too much because I tend to go on the let's get do everything because there's so much to do in London. It can make it more stressful for you if you're going from one place to the next. Particularly because museums are free, I have a tendency to go from one museum to the next museum. Um, and really, I just think just take it steady stop off, have coffees, go for walks and take your time. Don't be in too much of a rush. So I hope you found this useful, but let's get the conversation going on this. If you've got some places to recommend where you should go to in London, I'd love to hear it. Put it down in the comments below. Um, you can follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, at Mama Life London. Um, normally we do videos on a Wednesday, but I'm changing up to doing videos on a Thursday every single week, talking about style, mama life, days out, and mental health. So, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you do, please hit like and subscribe if you want to see more next week.